Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're looking at a GCSE Design and Technology question and this is the drawing question. So quite often in the exam you'll find a, um, a question that features isometric and orthographic drawing. This is a very typical example where they've given you part of a drawing and you have to complete the third view. So we've got an orthographic drawing here. It says below is a drawing of a storage rack for letters. Complete the third angle orthographic projection by adding a side view. And then over the page, it asks you to complete also an isometric view. So this is generally there is a question that um, has isometric and orthographic drawing. So if we look at this letter rack, here's actually what it looks like. So we've got these three views here. We've got this top view there. We've got a front view there, if you can see that. And what it's asking for is simply that view there, obviously looking right on. So um, we can draw that. If we draw that here, I suppose you draw it with a um, ruler. I'm just going to sketch it out so you can see. And as we see here, we've got this end view, but we've got this razor um, diagonal part here. So we'd see this line here, this line here, and then we've got the two holes. Now the two holes would be hidden detail. They're hidden detail in the top here. It actually says, the mark scheme says, um, one mark for the shape, which should be a J shape like this. Um, it's quite handy for you to have a pencil and a ruler in this exam as well. I've just made a mistake there because they should be dotted lines. So they should be dotted lines there then there should be a center line through there. Um, there's actually looking at the mark scheme so it shows you there it drawn in and it would give you either of those two views the left or right handed view. So there's two marks for that as I say two marks for the J shape um, it's actually putting those lines in there they put those lines in there so two marks for the J shape and two marks for the hidden detail on the holes well the hidden detail on the holes like I showed you there, should be the dotted lines. So that's that view. Um, Say so very common in the exam, often you need to understand the relationship between the three orthographic views of an object. So we can say there's the front view, there's the plan view, and there's the side view. And then we're going over the page here to an isometric. Quite often also in these exams, there is given a... Um, there might be associated questions to do with CAD or drawing or something like that to make it up to maybe 10 marks. So we've got an isometric grid here and what the mark scheme shows you here is these two views here. So you kind of when you're drawing it you want to start don't start drawing in the middle or you go off to the side just have a look here and you're not having to draw anything really um, you should be able to do this reasonably quickly and even then I'm going to the bottom. I say it's five marks so you want to spend about five minutes on it. Um, we've got this view here, we're going up to there, I'm going to use a roof for this bit. There's that view. This one is going to go along here, along here, if I put it right to there. So um, the marks there for this, so there's, there's my version of it, I've drawn that in, it says one mark for general collect, uh, shape is uh, correct, so if you look there it says one mark uh, general shape, uh, one mark slope on the front section drawn the correct way around and one mark for holes in the correct place there 
Um, and then it says, uh, except circular, oh, sorry, except circular or elliptical holes, do not penalise if holes are not totally correct. So really all we've got to do for the holes there is draw, they should be elliptical, but you'd, you'd get a mark for circular. So there's our final drawing. So that would give us another three marks. So in all five marks, so we've got um, two marks for that, three marks for that. So that would be uh, five, five marks for that question. As I say, this is quite a common question. This is for GCSE Design and Technology. Okay, thank you for watching Mr Ridley's Design and Technology.